But also too, I mean, there's different kinds of porn, right? So there's what like most people think of, which is like, you know, kind of maybe hardcore gonzo porn, um, you know, it's, you're having sex with your stepbrother, um, you know, things that are just like, just like on, you know, the, at the top of the list on, on tube sites, which is where, let's be honest, most people get their porn. Um, right. And, uh, you know, then there's the cum shot on the face at the end, but there's different kinds of porn like lustry, which um, is your, uh, which is your company. So tell us a little bit about that and how is it different than from what most people would say is mainstream porn right so um last three basically i like to call it documentary porn because basically what we do is we're trying to document people's sex lives so it's a community platform where real couples and of course by real couples i mean whatever however people want to describe a relationship so we're obviously not saying like you need to be married and have a mortgage and kids <laughs> um yeah you, know, you can be a casual bdsm play partner or the only the only idea behind it is that you actually have an ongoing sexual relationship with each other in your private life so you're not just meeting for shooting a video which obviously is mm -hmm. totally fine but just in this case this this community this platform is for folks that have a relationship um going on and that want to capture they want to introduce a camera into that relationship and do videos of what they most enjoy and share them so basically there are absolutely no rules on what sexual content should be shot um and we pay folks by per video that we admit so there's not like an incentive to be doing something that you think is going to get you more likes or, or or money or sales or whatever it's uh, you can do whatever you want it's literally if you want to you know have cuddle sex for half an hour because that's what that's what you do great we want to see that if you want to have a super hardcore bdsm quadruple anal session that's great because that's to be what you enjoy um and i think what's interesting about that and i mean um i started doing last three because because that's what i wanted to see i was curious i was literally i'm a voyeur and wanted to see what happens in people's bedrooms <laughs> no but i wanted to I, I wonder i was doing porn myself as a performer and in a lot of like so-called amateur porn um which again nothing against it but there are a lot of companies and people that are staging a kind of sexuality that they think is going to sell great and um and they are calling they're calling it authentic which mm -hmm. is fine I'm, I'm i have no issue with that <laughs> to be honest like you do whatever you 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 know you do um but i was because i was as a performer like doing that and it was representing a kind of sexuality that had not so much to do maybe directly with what i fancy um i was wondering okay how can you though can you actually show sex the way it would happen if you didn't have a camera in and obviously the moment you put a camera in a room there's a li there is going to be a difference unless your people don't know but that would be you know unethical and illegal so <laughs> don't do right. that um so but like my idea like the question was like how do we do it how do we come as close as possible to actually capture what people do in their regular sex lives and that's how we decided to go about it like being like okay if you have two people that have this relationship they know each other's bodies um you know they have this dialogue this sexual dialogue going on and they just capture that that's the closer we can get to document it and so that's why i like to think of last year as like an archive of people's sex mm -hmm. lives and relationships do you do you find that certain videos like, do you have the data on whether or not certain videos do better than others? Like, is it an a la carte pay per view platform? Yeah, it's a membership uh, based platform. So you pay per month and you have access to the full library. And we okay. do, I mean, we do not, oh, to be honest, I shouldn't be saying this, but I mean, we do not collect as much as we should be doing. We are really, um, yeah, we're willing to, to do better there. But <laughs> we do know more like after, you know, we launched last year, 2016. So now, I mean, just by like observing and getting and users, you know, reviews and stuff and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because it's mm, a lot of times, I think for, like, I think people that are on last three, a lot of it is about, um, you know, getting, getting to know these people. Cause we always saw that every video has an introduction, right? So you get to know a little bit like, who are these folks? Uh, what's the relationship like? And I feel like couples or throuples, we have not only two people, but maybe three or whatever. Um, I, I feel like the videos where, where you, you know, might be staged, but I think it, where you really see like the couples are having a good time uh, and they're really enjoying themselves. And they, at the beginning, maybe they're like, I know they're especially candid or like really feels like they're really 
open and excited about sharing themselves with the community. I feel like those videos do great, actually. Yeah. That is yeah, and something I can, about that. And I can tell you definitely like from, you know, the bigger like companies, like mainstream perspective, you know, I shoot for like browsers and twisties that the performers that do the the best really are the ones who enjoy their job. And it's, it's obvious because the, I think the fans can tell when you're faking it, it like, it just, it just comes across. Um, you know, I mean, who comes to mind and I, <laughs> it's kind of funny because every time I, her name comes up a lot just because everybody loves her. I've joked about changing the name of this podcast to everyone loves Angela white. because everybody does. <laughs> um, but she is like someone who's very authentic. Like she is like, I'm on set with her, you know, when the cameras are not rolling and she's fucking into it. Like she is into her partner. Like she is focused. Like she is so excited to be there. Like she's just, she really wants to do it. And I think fans really respond to those people. And there's a lot of other girls that I know who are beautiful and, you know, they, they're popular and they do fine, but like, it's not like they don't enjoy themselves, but like, this is, they're not, you know, as connected to their partner. They're not as like mentally involved as some of the other people are. And I, and I think that you can tell, like, I don't, I don't know. And yeah, I think that fans really respond to performers who want, who like what they're doing. I think we all enjoy watching people who enjoy having sex. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 